Good morning, class. This is your lecture, TP Governor. And today's lesson is the while loop, the waterable program, and we're going to use the if statement with a complicated Boolean expression. And after that, we're going to put it into a loop. So, what's the program that we're going to be talking about today? The program we're going to talk about is the one in your study guide, the municipality of a small town needs a program for each home or business. The rate depends on the number of units sold, I mean used by the consumer. The first 20 units are free. So I've put this in code blocks and I've commented the statements out. If the person uses more than 20 units, but less than 40 units, then the rate changes. He now has to pay 10 rand per unit. If the person has to use more than 40 units, then it is 1.5 times 10, and we're going to get the amount payable by calculating the computation of a rate times 1.5 times the units used. Finally, we must display the amount payable. So here goes. If I look carefully at my variable declaration, I'm using the following variables, units, amount, and I'm using a variable called temp. My rate is 10 ram. That means if someone has paid more than, not paid, I mean they used more than 20 and less than 40, then it's 10 ram. But like Robin, yours is always less than 20, so it's going to be zero. So I'll just come to that one. Enter the units consumed, C in units. If the units is less than 20, the amount payable is 0, 0.0. We're going to use your data, Robin, all the time. That means you use less than 20 units of water. But if the units is more than 20 and less than 40. Uh, Vumani, let's say your example was uh, 23, huh? 24. Right, 24. So it has to say 24 subtract 20, which is 4, and then it must work out that I need to pay 4 multiplied by 10, going to give me an answer of 40. And so forth if it is more than 40 and less than 100. And ultimately it's going to display the amount payable is... Let's run this program and see what happens. When I run the program, Robin, how many units of water did you consume? Robin, you can talk, Robin. Robin said nine. So I put in nine. How much do you expect to pay, Robin? Robin showed me the symbol zero. Yes, Robin, you are absolutely correct. Mini, did you notice that the program is running again? I wonder why it did that, Mini. Why, Mini? Why? Because I put it in a for loop. And didn't we do that for loop some time ago? Ahmed? Remember that for loop we did where we said, uh, oh, I won't say that because we're recording it. Okay. So let's run this program again. Mini, how many units of water you used? 23. 23 is 30, so it took 23 minus 20 is 3. 3 times 10 is 30. Umani, your family came to visit. How much you used? 40. 41. 41 units, and the answer was 315. Oh, Camille, the program is running one more time. Thanks for your uh, extension cord and your network cable. How many units of water you use, Camille? You must talk loud, Camille. 
15. How much is supposed to pay? Camille? Zero. Yes! And that concludes the running of the water bill program. Now class, for homework, you must take the very same program and you must use the while loop. This time the program must terminate when the person enters in 0, 0.0. I hope you like my lesson. My name is TP Governor and C++ is my game. Over and out. And that's how it's done.